So I don't even know if I am going to be starting a new vlog But I did have some clips from the Halloween party that I went to at my cousin's house So I think I'll um, put those clips kind of at the beginning But it has been I think a whole week since the Halloween party And I haven't really vlogged or anything I've ate a couple places at Mr. Tokyo And um at Osaka which is also another sushi place so I'll put those clips kind of after the party but I wanted to start a vlog I am going to Universal this upcoming week so I'm super excited I wanted to show like some clips of me packing my suitcase and things that I think is necessary to bring when you're traveling in my suitcase I have my clothes but I pulled out these three items that I wanted to show inside. Hold up one second. So I pulled up these three items that I wanted to show what was in it for you guys. So this thing right here, I think I bought it at Target. I bought it for a trip, um, my snowboarding trip. And I thought this is something cool to show you. Basically, I it's for kind of like your wires and everything. And I have some cords that I need to bring. I also have a SD card reader. I also have my battery for my cameras. And then because I'm still gonna be here for tonight, so I still need to charge my phone. And then after I'm done with that tomorrow morning, I'll stick that in here as well. But this is kind of like a good place to put all your cords so that everything is all aligned in one spot. And the next thing I want to show you is this makeup bag that has kind of a little bit of everything. So I have some body wash. They usually have shampoo and conditioner already at the hotel. But I bought some body wash. I also have some face moisturizer because that is also very important. I also have some mouthwash. I have a brush and Advil and then I brought just a couple of makeup things. I don't think I'll be wearing much makeup. A sponge. I have my, this is my foundation. It's a very light coverage and then I have two brow pencils. But that is all of the items that are in this bag. I have this bag, which I think is so adorable. It's so cute. I got this bag I showed you guys in my Shein haul the other day. And I really, really think this bag is so cute. It's actually a really good, decent size to keep everything that you really need. Um, probably like easy access whereas the suitcase you would have to open everything up and i have a disposable camera i keep bringing this disposable camera like everywhere but i never use it because i just feel like there's not a really good time to use it then i have a portable charger who knows when you'll need that so it's good to have and then i have some jerkins lotion I also have some hand sanitizer, galaxy beans, sanitizing wipes. Good to have, whether it's for the hotel or in the car, if you're eating in the car. I have a little snack that my little brother gave me today. So I have two boxes in here. This one is all of my jewelry. I could probably put this in my suitcase, but I had some space in this bag. So I have some jewelry in here. I have earrings, necklaces. And then in here, um, I have perfume. So I thought this was a nice way to put my perfume. So these are like some sample perfumes that I haven't had the chance to try yet. And I do have these, so I will just bring them and use them on the trip. So all of those things fit in this bag almost too perfectly. <laughs> I definitely will be using this for the future if I ever go on vacations or trips. But I also will bring a camera bag 
for my camera stuff, some extra SD cards. Good morning, everyone. So it is my day back from Universal. I am back at home, so I want I have a couple things that I need to do to get done today. I want to wash my bed sheets today, and I also have all of these things right here universal souvenirs and my luggage that i want to pack away and put away today um i want to edit i also need to feed myself so i need to get that done i want to show you guys everything that i got from universal so let me put you down and let me show you the first thing i would want to show you guys is this big item that i got which is from super dry if you guys haven't heard they're like I guess kind of like an Abercrombie and Fitch like Japanese version. I'm not really sure exactly where they originated from. I have a lot of items from, from Super Dry, but they're all mainly jackets. I got this one. They're really, really good quality. I can wear them probably for five, six years, no problem. And it looks like this. It has gray um, quilted look inside. So it's definitely going to be warmer and it has a couple layers as like a little bit of a red zipper. I love this. I got that at Disney Springs which was like 20 minutes away from Universal but we went there kind of pretty much every single like evening after Universal because Universal closed around like 6 or 7 so we would go to Disney Springs during the night time. M&M's There's also Coca-Cola World So I got a Coca-Cola shirt And then also at Disney Springs They had a store called Uniqlo They're kind of like a H&M I didn't get too much from there I only got this um, Biker short It's a really pretty Like mauve pink color and they were it's on sale for ten dollars so i really thought that was a good deal so i got that and now i got so many things from from universal i'm not even kidding so one of the first things i got was these crabby patty colors which looks really exciting i got these unicorn slippers i think they're from despicable me they're cute and then i got a lot a lot of plushies i love my plushies as you can tell they're a little bit disheveled right now i want to when i get my bed sheets kind of done i want to reorganize them because i got more plushies to put on there i have this one which is really cute I thought it's cute at least they have a normal brown one but this one is gray and pink and I love the two colors together then I have three Hello Kitty plushies they're square and so cute looking so this one's Kirby this one is I believe Choco Cat yep this is Choco Cat and then I got um, this one is Hello Kitty, so they look really cute, all of them together. I ended up getting four out of the five, and one of them I um, gifted to my sister, but they're so cute. I got this shirt from the Spongebob store. It's Patrick, and it, I love the colors. Uh, these Hello Kitty playing cards, which I thought was really, really cool because it's like Hello Kitty shaped. And that's what they look like i got one for myself and then one for my cousin which her birthday is on friday so i'll be putting that along with her other gift but that is literally everything that i got from universal universal was so much fun i have a lot of videos it probably is already out by now so i'll leave all the links in the description box below for all of my universal videos time to do some chores Did do all the things that I wanted to do, which was take my bed sheets to the wash, um, cleaned up 
all of the stuff that was here this minus this because this is kind of like christmas gift stuff so i will be slowly working on that till christmas but um bed sheets are done i will put them on later before i sleep but the reason why i pulled out this camera was because i just had lunch and in my trader joe's haul recently i think maybe a couple of videos down i bought these fried raviolis from trader joe's and it's so good it's my first time having it i have some more fried stuff i got some french fries in the air fryer that i'll be eating now quite delicious if you ask me so i just want to pull the camera out to tell you guys if you're ever at trader joe's and you see fried ravioli definitely get it because it's so good i will be getting it again time to eat my fries and i will go at it okay i'm almost done with this gen 75 percent i'll come and get you Dang it, I couldn't finish my gin. Good morning, everybody. So, it is the next day. I did my bed yesterday before I went to sleep. And because I told you guys that I ended up getting all those new stuffies, I want to show you guys how I set up my stuffed animals next to my bed. So, I have my little frog. This is one of the new ones I got, and then these two, and then this one are the three Hello Kitty ones that I got from Universal. And then I've had that too for a while. I have my little brownie, and then I have that one from Chicago, that one for my birthday, that one from the State Fair, and then I got that one from Chicago, and then that one as a representation of my first job. But they just look so good here. What's new? I woke up, well, I didn't really wake up late. I just kind of got out of bed late. So it is 12 right now. I just made an appointment for my car tomorrow because I need to get an annual inspection done and some other things like oil changes, tire rotations, all of that. I'll get that one done tomorrow at 10.30, so I need to definitely get up tomorrow. But it is time for lunch, and I think I want some more of those fried raviolis. And probably, I think I want to make some ramen noodles, because I haven't had ramen noodles in a while, and that sounds good. I actually ended up not editing yesterday, just because I was, I don't know, I was kind of shopping a little bit for like Christmas shopping, so I kind of got distracted. But I will edit today because I definitely need to edit to get a video done for Friday. Let me set you guys down. My cousin ended up giving like my family the air fryer that we use right now, which is like an emerald and it's kind of like circular. But I do like enjoy using the air fryer sometimes, like if you're using like smaller batches. If I'm doing like something like a bigger tray of like french fries, I would definitely just do it in the oven still because it's a little bit more space. For sure, I think that I want to sometime later in the future, I want to get a bigger air fryer, at least like a square one. And they're quick to make. They're like... 10 minutes i think i made quite a lot but i am very hungry i don't know why but i've been super hungry recently so i think i got like two options that i want to make classic gin ramen or the spicy one we'll go with the spicy ramen today definitely gonna need two eggs and then i think since i'm already starting to cook after I eat, I'll probably make some spam for my brothers to eat for lunch later. This week, I kind of have quite a lot of um, things to do. I have, well, now I just booked like my car appointment tomorrow. I'm going to hang out with my cousin for her birthday on Friday. So we're having a little birthday breakfast. And then my dad's birthday is on Sunday. So we have 
quite a lot of things to do this week and plus i gotta finish editing my videos i want to knock out two videos this week that is kind of the goal um but other than that i think i'm pretty much going to be just chilling at home oh also i've been trying to make reels and if you haven't followed my instagram i always have my instagram links in the description box so definitely check out my instagram i have a couple reels on there that is super hilarious um yeah so definitely check it out give it a like also give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because your girl's making content for you guys i'm gonna make my food now and i'll catch you in a bit days now i haven't vlogged just been editing just been um trying to catch up on my universal edits so i haven't really been doing much today i want to go to costco because i want to go get um a couple things because thanksgiving is in two days i have potatoes for mashed potatoes already i bought annie's instant mac and cheese to make for um thanksgiving and then i just want to get like um chicken wings costco makes these really good mesquite barbecue chicken wings um if you ever see that at costco definitely get it the flavor is really bomb i love to eat it with rice it's so good together let's go to costco i'm at starbucks right now and i'm trying to make like an online order but i'm very indecisive right now because i usually like to get iced peach green tea lemonade because that's like a really good like refreshing drink but you know it's like holiday season and they have their holiday drinks out and i usually get like a hot chestnut praline latte and i've never had the chestnut praline latte cold and i've seen somebody actually grab that so it has to be somewhat decent right should i get the iced version of the chestnut praline latte I just don't know or should i just get like both or is that like too much oh my god i'm literally i started this you know day thinking thanksgiving's in two days from now but thanksgiving's literally tomorrow early morning brain fart you know what i mean So that is the end of this vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, it was a little bit sporadic, but um, I've been busy editing. So it just was a little bit of a mess. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this video made you guys smile. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the notification button so that you know when I upload a new video. I've been uploading every Mondays and Fridays at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.